Tom, do not try to horse this fish, please. We're just going to take our time here. Keep good pressure on him. Even that one barely bit it. Dink, dink, dink. Yeah, I saw that. Fighting like they do in Mountain Point. Yeah. I don't doubt if he's lip hook right in that thick lip right now, you know. That's a good fish, man. He did some heavy he, cranking. He, did, he, did, he made some good runs. He's a good fish. That thing just took off. You like hell if you got you a knife. You got a knife, yeah. You feel rough right on the line, huh? Mm-hmm. I did, but not seeing him show at all. Mm-hmm. No, he took a lot of line. And he might have another run in him, he might not. We'll find out. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And if you see him, don't get excited and try to bring him to the net. If he's not ready, just let him run. If I get the net out and he gets close, don't try to get excited and pull him into the net. A lot of people see that big king and they go yarding on him. If you yard on this tank, he gone. Yeah. We're just going to take our time with him. You're doing freaking perfect. Just keep that pressure on him. There you go. Let him run. That's all right. are waiting for me to bring him up. I haven't even seen the flasher from nothing yet. Oh, is there a flasher on him? Nope. Oh, okay. Tell me. Son of a bitch. Boy, he was way out He's there. way out there. Holy shit. Take your time, Tom. There's no rush. Good <laughs> 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 
And his head comes out of the water, Tom, and he starts thrashing. Kind of, if you can, just try to let him stay in the water. I thought that was a shock fin. Holding. Get some strength back, yeah. Look at that. I'm just going straight down. Sometimes fish will do that to try to flush a little extra oxygen through their lungs. Like when you get a like bunch of fish down in the, the fish hold on a fishing boat, they do that. They come up and they, they gulp at the air to try to flush their lungs with oxygen and then they mix it with water to try to make it. I've seen him do it three times, now he comes up, opens his mouth, bolt. Yeah. That's, that's when they start getting real desperate though. That's like right before death.
Chief Mono Tom. Trail down to him and lift your rod, Tom, slow, nice and easy to bring him in. Lift nice and slow and then reel down to him. Lift your rod, yep. keep lifting, keep lifting. Try just coursing this way if you pull, let him yep. pull. Busted off one of the hooks. Holy crap. Something like that. Oh, yeah, that's Holy 50. Shit. I know what a 50 pound bag of spuds take. That's 55 pounds. My God, hold it, hold it up. Get your. Hold okay, on. Just the tall tail. Grab one. Grab one with me. Everybody. <laughs> That fish with a lot of respect in the fight too. Yeah. Jesus, what a tank! Oh my God, that's that's ridiculous. Oh yes. All right, guys, hey. watch out. I'm gonna come to the cart. Oh, this, oh I don't know why I'm even be close. I don't want to even touch that. The king I caught, I almost dropped. Oh really? He looks even bigger in there. Yeah, he does. Does he have a flashback meal? Wheelbarrow sized fish. Yeah. I don't think that's more than one fish than we did all day. Like, he's 44 inches long. It's just getting dark, you know? Yeah. yeah. What, did, what did we catch? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll bet, I'll bet that felt like something on your line. Yeah. Really? Just, yeah. just nudging it. 100 yards before that one. Holy oh, Toledo, you did it. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, 
crazy. Six. 50 pounder before we bled him. Wow. That's incredible. Tearing his, tearing his jaw out there. Man, yeah, he's so, so heavy. heavy. He's, too big. he's too big for his own head. He really is. Yeah. He has a big old head, too. God, I know. I hit him with that bat. That's a and it was male. Like, it's it was like just fish, too. whacking a <laughs> yeah, piece of rock. wood or something. <laughs> yeah. Go! Yeah, you hit him, I don't know if you, you killed him three times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, after work, I went out fishing for a little bit. I didn't know that I was going to be doing that, and then I caught. Yeah, when you think about it, it was like a pair of men. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's like, had the like, biggest king salmon of Canute and Cove so far. He's like, oh, hey, what's going, what, what's going on? Oh, you want to go fishing? Though? Okay. He's a perfectly deserving guy to get it, too. Don't be in a hurry to try and get a bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all reel him in all day. Yeah, watch. Now he'll get 30, 40 pounders every time. I got him. I got him on the bad thumb. Good luck. Yeah. You got him with a shitty thumb. You got him on a half thumb. Well, the other half of my thumb is out in the ocean. Well, it's probably not in the ocean anymore, but. Sampleys ate it. No, just yeah, kidding. Maybe. Black cod. Something. Something. Got it. <laughs> Sampleys ate it. Yeah. Black cod. Black cod. Oh, yeah. Black cod. Yep, we'll have to do it like that. The middle, yeah, to the fork. Okay. Way above the dorsal fin, right there. This is a good one. Holy mother crit. Yeah, I've seen 55 pounders at 28. So this is a really fat fish. So. Here's the old, the old power strike right there. Dude. This should be seven and a half, eight inches maybe. Nine Holy and a half. Holy mother crit. He's big all the way around. Nine and a half here. Wow, he's fat. Butterball. He's thick. He's thick. Yeah, he's a butterball, is right. So nine and a half here. And shot. Look at all that chromy gold on him. Yeah, I want all these guts too. Unless you want them for chum bag for halibut fishing. They're about to go in the drink. You kidding me? For halibut fishing, you can't beat this stuff. Put it all in an in an onion bag. And drop it on the bottom. You're getting dirty here. There's the heart. That is, that tastes it. so good. Look at that. Piece of bait, man. Uh huh. Right yeah. in the man, that might have been just bait. Do you want the bait fish you caught him on mounted to? I wonder if that's the first one. Oh, yeah. There you go. It could. It's kind of weird that it's beating oh, my hand. No, it's bigger than mine. Oh, yeah. That's oh. It's not wide. Fuck yeah. That's, weird. A, that's a blue. That's a big bass. That's a purple or a blue. Yeah, that's a wild one. That's not bait. Yeah, right. Bag. And all that shit sheep on them. Pack them with ice. One nice thing about bigger fish when you're gutting them out. Yeah. All the guts are bigger. Yeah. So much. If you don't, if you want to do something with them, if you do it, right? So think that's a hard one. Oh, man. That was like almost a little record. You know, it's like a, you know, the same basic size as a striped bass. You know when you brought a bigger one into Canutes and you got it? No. No. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. What's the, what was the most wonderful? Connors. Rob got a 45. Okay. And a 35, a 38, a 42, and Rob's yeah, he, been he the champion of 45. Bad. In the beginning, he was getting one almost every, like two a week, he was getting big in the world. I thought it was going to be wrong, but that was... I was doing shotters like a madman. I was a little person. Shotters, freaking, I get a big one. We're going to take it any longer, though.